Uh, oh, good heavens. Look what time it is. I have to go annoy the mailman. I'll be right back. It's just you, Garfield. I thought maybe you'd have some trick in mind to scare me. You know, like dressing up as a fire-breathing dragon. Me? Sweet, kindly me? Fire-breathing dragon, huh? Hmm. Here's your mail. Scaring the mailman is not nice, but it is part of my job description. <laughs> Bill, 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 John has jury duty. Bill, fire breathing dragon, huh? Oh. <clears throat> but as Prince John made his way into the forest, Prince John rode as a man possessed, determined to reach the fair Elizabeth. A man he encountered warned him of the danger that lay ahead. A fire breathing dragon? Up the road a piece. You can't miss him. He's a dragon and he breathes fire. I will not be denied my true love. I am not afraid of any fire-breathing dragon. <laughs> Unfortunately, my horse is. But I will not be denied. Deeper and deeper into the forest he went. But there was no sign of this monster he'd been warned about. Fire-breathing dragon. Ha! What nonsense. What foolishness. <laughs> what am I doing here? Exactly describe Prince John as brave. Eh, uh, courageous? No. Stupid? You're getting warmer. I guess the word that best describes him is. Ah, barbecue. I'd say medium rare. Somehow the prince made it back to the castle. There, spirits were down and taxes were going up. Attacks on using adverbs. Attacks on cooking your toenails on a Wednesday. Attacks on Tuesday. Prince John turns 21 at noon tomorrow. If he isn't married, that nasty man becomes king. What are we gonna do? Attacks on not making up your mind. You know that real dumb thing Prince John just tried? Uh huh. Well, I hate to say it, but I think we have to try it too. And so the adorable cat and the not-too-bright dog set off for the blue forest.